Unlike a red flag, a yellow flag means proceed, but with extreme caution. Education. One of the conversations we have in the manosphere is about women leading with their education, with their degree, their school, their profession, their salary, and the whole nine. And how it's counterproductive to mating with a man because we don't care. I would submit that we should care more. And not about her master's degree or her PhD or how prestigious her profession is, but how educated is she? How intelligent is she? Because her intelligence is what's gonna raise your children. Her intelligence is what's gonna contribute to the actualization of your vision. Baby, you smart. You very smart. Matter of fact, you a genius. You let me hustle. You let me do what I need to do in them streets. You smart. And the thing about it, just because a woman has a high degree or she went to a prestigious school doesn't mean she's intelligent. I want to dispel that myth as well. I've met some really dumb women who are very, very educated. And I'm, I'm using dumb very deliberately because what I mean is dumb not from a knowledge base, but from an application place. Those are the people who feel like they know so much, there's nothing left for them to learn. You can't tell me shit. And because of that, they're unknowingly ignorant because their narcissistic worldview does not allow them to see past what they think they know. I don't need some bald-headed man on a book telling me that I am strong and independent, honey. That's a given. But you forgot lonely. Imagine partnering with somebody like that. There's no putting heads together. They know better. And it might just be because of something as superficial as the degree that they have or the school that they went to or the profession that they have. Now, if the profession is associated with the thing that we are discussing, then yes, absolutely defer to the expert. However, I would pay more attention to, is this a woman who's curious? Is this a woman who was a good student? Because that means she's teachable. That means she's coachable. That means she's open to critique. That means she has allocated room for self-improvement, which means she's allocated room for you. But that Ivy League educated, PhD having, master's degree having woman who makes sure she puts all that in her Instagram bio, those tend to be the ones you can't tell shit. And I'm gonna call out the delegation of black women, AKAs. My experience with y'all has not been the best. I have found better women amongst Deltas than AKAs. I don't know if it's the culture of the organization, but some of the AKAs I've been encountered with sometimes have their heads so far up their own asses that they can't breathe properly. Money. Pay attention to a woman's relationship with money because whatever that relationship is, it's only going to get worse over time. And that's the theme with each of these categories. Whatever you observe is the best it's going to be because when you're first meeting anybody, they're on their best behavior. It only goes downhill from there, especially when you validate them by offering a relationship or offering a ring. So if you meet a woman who is financially irresponsible, it's only gonna get worse. If you meet a woman with bad credit, she's only gonna drag yours down. If you meet a woman who doesn't even think to budget or be deliberate or disciplined with the money that she has coming in and how it goes out, she's gonna bring that to your life. If you meet a woman who hasn't taken the time to develop any marketable skills, now barring the woman who's resigned herself to the housewife lifestyle and she's just preparing herself to be a homemaker, that's cool. But like, if you meet a woman who's like, you know, she's, she's, she's she went to college, she has a job, but because she's living in La La Land, she's not developing or didn't develop any marketable skills to be competitive, to be able to contribute to a potential future partner or household. A woman who hasn't demonstrated resourcefulness in her own life, she is going to be a liability. Send this to your boys, have conversations about it, share stories. Fathers, send this to your sons, have conversations about it, share stories. And as we continue to elaborate on some of these conversations. My hope is that we can establish a strong and prosperous black community full of strong men who are intentional about the women that we choose and the behavior that we reward or that we stay far away from. Thank you guys for watching. Leave it in the comments, run these likes up, hit the subscribe button on your way out, check out some of the other content and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.